In early 2017, a U.S. congressman stunned an audience by claiming that nobody has to use the Internet. This may have once been true, but the Internet is an engine of economic seduction. In 2017, the Internet is essential to all elements of the U.S. economy. We all continuously interact via the Internet. Almost all the money in the U.S. economy is virtual. Credit cards, banking accounts, remote orders and payments depend equally on the Internet and electricity. All that virtual money becomes non-functional if the Internet goes away or becomes inaccessible. If the Internet quits, everybody must steal or die because we quickly run out of ways to pay. Another thing that drives continuous Internet interaction is the extensive just-in-time optimization of our economy. Thanks to this optimization, there are no inefficient stores of useful resources and goods in the United States. All elements of our society depend on tight, reliable links between supply and demand. The stores only have a few days' supplies. The stores rely on timely orders and deliveries to maintain stock and reduce overhead. The suppliers of stores only have a few days' supplies. They rely on receiving accurate and timely orders to know where to deliver. Each supply link must place timely and accurate orders to kick the next link in the chain along. And this continues all the way to the harvesting and transportation of raw materials. Every step has been optimized to reduce overhead and unnecessary stock. Any supplier that fails to optimize gets outcompeted by a more efficient supplier. Over time, our economy has become completely dependent on those quick and accurate communication and transportation links. Competition is also fierce between all forms of electronic communication. Legacy electronic communication methods such as telegraph, telephone, fax, leased lines, frame relay, ISDN, they're all more expensive and less flexible than the Internet. Legacy links tend to be replaced by the Internet. And after a couple decades of this pressure, virtually all prior methods of electronic communication have either been supplanted by the Internet or have become deeply dependent on the Internet for personnel, supplies, and maintenance. Without the Internet, there's no food in the stores or gas in the gas stations. If the internet fails, the transportation networks fail, and the electrical grid quickly follows. If the entire internet suffers an extended outage, there'd be massive numbers of deaths. During the first few days, there'd only be a few thousand deaths, but during the first few weeks, there would be millions of deaths, and during the first few months, there would be billions of deaths. We all influence and are influenced by the Internet. Doing this wisely and securely is essential.